To go to Mars, we need to survive the trip. So we need to have good air and water recycling systems. We need great energy production and management systems. We need international collaboration so strong to build the, all these systems. We need medically to survive uh, the dangers of cancer on the way. And if you notice the problems I noticed, I mentioned, they're all big problems we have on Earth. Recycling of resources, management of energy, international collaboration, medicine. It's as if space exploration is like an excuse to sit down and think hard about the most difficult problems, solve them, and then apply them. You know, the most important thing will never be space exploration. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Important things are education, healthcare, security, the economy. These are important things. But humanity grew and became civilized better and improves because we always keep a little bit of our resources to dream. Because on a Sunday afternoon, we decide, hey, I have a few hours, I'll read a book, or I'll do a drawing, or I'll think about something fun, or I'll make an invention. And over the millennia, that's how we progressed. We started out in the caves, and then maybe a Sunday afternoon, someone thought, hey, why don't we go to see outside? Oh, OK. And then maybe on a Sunday afternoon, someone thought, hey, I'll invent the wheel. I'll invent fire. I'll invent writing. Once we're done with everything we need to do to survive, with the little extra time we have, we make science, we make the arts, and we explore. And with that, that's how we grow as a species. And that's where our civilization comes from. So Mars, I think, is a fantastic dream to have. You know, the people who will go to Mars, we're only going to be able to go there safely probably in about, I'd say, uh, 20, 30 years, really. So the first people to go to Mars, it's not me. I'm too old. No way. But I think the people who will go to Mars, the engineers who will build the rocket ships, the scientists who will invent the life support system, all these people, they're born already, but they're still kids. Maybe it's you. Our future is in your head. Maybe you think, I'm just a child. I don't know. No, no, no. no. You're not just a child. You are a treasure. Your, mind, your head contains our future. So respect that little dream that you have in your heart because it's, it's the way to the future.